Hey everybody, it's Lee here. Uh, welcome to another video of mine. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine C crypto coins on your computer, uh, specifically using Windows 10. Um, but the process is very similar if you have Windows 8, Windows 7, or older versions, even Windows Vista. And the process is very same for all, all um, um, Windows-based systems. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how, exactly how to do that. So this video is on how to mine crypto coins using your Windows based PC. Okay, so this is Windows 10. And the first thing we're going to do is just open up the uh, browser, uh, go to Google, uh, you need to visit a website so you can download and get set up with everything. You're going to search for minergate.com. Uh, it should be the first one in the list, just make sure it is that minergate.com and visit that website. Okay, um, I'm actually already logged in, but I'll just show you what you need to do. You'll see, just go to this um, other tab up here, uh, from the actual main um, dashboard board page, uh, you wanna go to the very top and just click on the green button, which is sign up. Um, just enter your email address and use a password for yourself and then uh, click the green button. Uh, once you've done that, you'll then be able to log in. Um, I'm actually already logged in already, so I'll just swap to the next tab. Um, and then once you're logged in, you just get a dashboard which looks like this. At the top, you can see various uh, coins. Um, at the moment, you can see I'm mining uh, Phantom Coin and also Monero. Um, you can see I've just got one worker, and that's the current sort of hash rate. The higher the hash rate, the more coins you're making. Um, over the over the period of time and um, there's lots of other coins to choose from as well you can literally um, just pick and choose uh, exactly which coins you want to mine so these are all the other ones um, that you can choose from okay so that's the actual dashboard itself and um, what you actually want to do is uh, click on downloads and this is where you'll be able to download the actual miner um, at the top it should auto detect what computer system you're using and select the um, the best um, application for yourself. Um, if you don't see the one that's suitable for you, in this case it's Windows 7 and above, which would be suitable for us. I'll also just double check in <clears throat> most computers nowadays there are 64-bit systems, but if you do have a older 32-bit system, there are some miners for those machines available as well as. Um, so if you can't see your one at the top, um, just scroll further down and you'll see a whole bunch of other miners for slightly older systems. Uh, we're going to go um, just with the uh, default one that's been selected for us. We're just going to get that, which uh, just downloads it. And that should just take it literally just a second or two to download. That's great. And that will be in our downloads folder. So I'm just going to few downloads. You can see I've already actually downloaded it um, a few times. So we've just selected that. And then we're just going to go with the uh, in installation of it. Um, I'm not going to really uninstall it, I'm just going to go through and we're just basically going to install over the top of itself. Um, you wouldn't need to do this because it'll be the first time for your installation. Um, okay, so that's the actual installation completed. Uh, we are going to run Minergate just immediately. I'll just uh, minimize the browser. Okay, so this is the actual Minergate application and it just comes up. All you need to do is in this box here is uh, enter your email address, the same one as you used um, to create an account at minergate.com. It will also ask for your password, but that's an optional box. Um, if you enter your password, you'll get more detailed statistics. It will tell you things like your account balance for coins and things like that, um, but it's really not necessary. Um, so I normally just go with just the email address in the box and then log in and start mining. Click on that. Okay, so there's a few different options here. You've got smart mining. I don't actually use that. I click on the, um, this tab here, which is the little uh, pickaxe. And then I manually pick which coins I want to mine. At the moment, I'm mining XMR, which is Monero, but you can just pick and choose exactly which coin you want. There's all different ones that you can choose from. And we're just looking down this column sort of on this left-hand side here, which is CPU mining. I personally don't bother with uh, GPU mining with Minergate. I use um, other sources for that. I really just use Minergate just for CPU mining. It seems to work best and it's the easiest one to use um, overall. Um, so we just uh, choose the coin that we actually wish to mine. In this case, like I say, XMR Monero. And then on this tab here, you've got how many computer cores you want to use. And um, depending on what computer processor you have, 
um, will affect the amount of cores you have. So for example, um, on this uh, machine, I have a Intel i7-950, which is an eight core processor. Um, so I'm just gonna use seven of those eight cores, um, which means that I'll get a good, really good hash rate, but it will also mean that the system is also usable as well at the same time to a degree. Um, if you set it to use all of your cores, you might find that your system becomes unstable or it doesn't really perform, you can't really use it at the same time, things like that. So I normally just use one less than your than your total uh, core value. So in most cases, it'll be seven or three, something like that for most users. Um, and then you wanna just click on start mining. Uh, the box will turn green and then you'll see a hash rate that will start picking up. You've got like an instant one and then like a, a 10 second average or 30 second average as well there. Um, and then that's it, you're basically mining, so uh, really quite simple. Um, just to, to show you on the right hand side here, the, this is what they call merge mining. So basically you can mine two coins at the same time but for no extra effort. So if that's uh, an option that's available to you on one of these coins, then I would, I would recommend that. In this case we're also merge mining with Phantom Coin, which is this coin up here. So you don't have to turn both on, you can just mine one coin and it will mine phantom coin at the same time. Um, so that's just a, a more efficient way to mine. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go back to the mining gate dashboard now and we should be able to see our uh, results. We are logged in up here. Um, sometimes it takes um, a couple of minutes to refresh. Um, it's still only shown as one active worker when, um, oh actually I, I shut down the other machine, so the one active work is actually correct. Um, but sometimes it can take a, a minute or two just to update. So you can see here that we're mining Monero, that's the current hash rate, how many workers we've got online, and then just some uh, share information. You could also see that there's a hash rate for Phantom Coin. We're not actually mining that, that's part of this merged mining. Um, so that's just some extra information there. And then you've got your, uh, you know, your account balance for each individual a coin um, for, you know for all the different coins in there so that's how you do it um, so just go to minergate.com um, sign up for free using your email address then you want to download a miner suitable for your computer um, just install that and start enter your email address and um, that's it uh, you're mining so um, really pretty straightforward pretty simple and um, yeah that's about it if you have any questions at all um, just um, leave a comment in the comments box below and um, I'll try and get back to you. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys soon.